I head east to Khorasan in search of the delicate crimson jewels that yield one of Iran's most precious exports and the most expensive commodity by weight in the world. Ninety-two percent of the world's saffron production is grown right here in the region of Khorasan. These beautiful plants bloom in autumn and only for two weeks throughout the year. So we're really lucky to be capturing this special moment. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. رنگ کردن نخ قالی این قسمت زرد رنگ داخلش هم درمان دارویی داره یا اینکه برای پخت نون هم ازش استفاده میشن تا آره تو روز نون و همون خمیر نون رو تزیین میکنن به رنگ خاصی نون به خصوصیه نون زعفرانی آره میشه گفت همین چیزی چیزی حتی اون قسمت داخلش هم قابل استفاده است during the harvest, daily bazaars spring up where traders haggle and compete to buy saffron flowers from local producers by the sackful. They scrutinize the beautiful flowers with care. This is serious business and very much a domain of men. But as I was about to discover, the key stage in the saffron production process is performed by the local women, who are employed by the traders during the harvest season. These lovely ladies have invited me to their homes to show me how they actually remove the stamens from the flower itself. And as you can see, it's pretty arduous work. بعدش درش یاری خب انقدرش رو میکنم که فقط یه خورده از زردیش بمونه بمونه دیگه جداش میکنیم خب شما چند ساله تو این کاری چند ساله الان ده ساله آن ده ساله اون وقت یه دفعه در سال هم با این کار انجام میشه نه بعد اون وقت گلا وقتی میرسن بعد بلا فاصله اینا رو بردارین نه میگن میچسبه به گل بله اگه جمع شانه کنن اینا خراب میشه دیگه یعنی فردا نمیتونین این کارو انجام بدین درمیون لاغل باید جمع شد بکنم از رو زمین بعد بیان پاک شو کنن که خراب بره پلاستیک دم بره دیگه واس In the nearby city of Mashhad you can find every type of saffron product imaginable Iranians love using saffron in absolutely everything, from stews to rice dishes, teas, sweets, everything. And we have here saffron and tea and saffron powder. Uh, and that's really great because normally we'll crush saffron and then um, make it into a powder. So this is really convenient. And pills, this is really, really cool. And of course, the regular saffron threads and saffron spray. What do you know? I don't know. I mean, it's like hairspray, uh, breath freshener, uh, or used on rice dishes. So at the last minute, you can color your rice and on kebabs. I think it's very inventive. And here is what Westerners consider a pinch. And this is what Iranians consider as a pinch of saffron.